before we get started on this week's adventure, make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss any of our adventures.
you for joining us. It is beautiful out here. It's a Sunday morning, 3rd of July. And we just want to say thank you, first of all, to the Lord above. But second of all, to the New Times subscribers, those that have been kind of following us all along the way, watching us on our journey. Everyone out there has had either a rough time this past year, as well as ourselves, or, or we've gone through a really good path. We want to let you know that we pray for our subscribers, especially when we know if you, your folks are hurting or if you're, you folks are, are having a really good spell. We just love the fact that you are willing to follow us along on our journey. We also wanted to thank those that have helped us, either financially, physically coming out here, and you've seen that in our videos, and keeping us in prayer. So this weekend we're celebrating. This July 4th weekend is uh, independence. You know, many people interpret that in different ways. We have our freedoms because of military sons and daughters, past and even present. Some are giving their sacrifice away from their families that are now serving. And some have even gave more by giving their lives. So to that we say thank you, uh, not just to the families that endure uh, suffering of hardships and the loss of their loved ones, whether they return or don't return. God help you with that in your heart. But we want to thank, uh, you, know, thank you for the sacrifices that you've given as military sons and daughters so that we have the freedom, even in this nation, to continue to serve a uh, true living God, to help others, as Jesus said, you to love one another as I have loved you. So, to that we say yes and amen. And you know, the Apostle Paul said that we can walk in the liberty of this freedom. And uh, that's true independence. And today we have that because Christ lives and reigns. And so, we're reminded that we also can live and reign with Him. That's true freedom again. Uh, John 8, 32 through 36 uh, declares that in God's holy word. And uh, we're thankful for that. You know, we've had many blessings uh, in times past, and God continues to bless not only this land, but our lives. And you know, whether it's the, through the people that offer material, financial, or even prayerfully uh, give, uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing. So we're grateful uh, that we can do life together even if it's uh, through the uh, fiber optic systems and sharing our hearts uh, with what God is doing and you know, the declaration of the work that's being filmed uh, to show you. Uh, but more importantly, you know, we feel that we can give back even to you that give to us, not just prayers, but that's a big thing. You know, and also to show you the fruit of your labor through your prayers, through your financial giving or through you know, the material blessings that we get. So we say thank you for this community. Thank you for our church family. We thank you uh, as brothers and sisters in Christ that are viewing and for those that are just now coming into view, whether you believe or don't believe, thank you that you've tuned in. And so we're going to continue to pray even for you uh, that you would see this freedom that we have uh, given only and instituted by God by giving us His Son. So we just thank you. We, uh, again, lift you up and we pray that you would lift up uh, this seven mile hill sanctuary to bless others with it god be the glory thank you for tuning in god bless and make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss any of our adventures